Welcome to Kusa TV. Today I'll be breaking down the A10 Thunderbolt 2, the early version, premium. If you want to splash the 70 odd bucks and all the weapons that come with it and kind of best practices for using them. So as you can see, the A10 comes with a ton of options. Uh, I have a couple presets down here. You can also make presets too, which is kind of cool. I like it. Um, but starting off, we've got the A9... AIM 9L Sidewinder Air Missiles. Uh, pretty good. Honestly, fantastic. Uh, then, you know, kind of your basic bombs. Um, guided bombs, which I haven't had much success with, I'll be honest with you. Some more dumb bombs. Uh, hydro Rockets, which I use a lot. And I don't really dabble with the cannons that much. And then uh, Armor Targets, the AGM-65B. You get six of those. So you can kind of get a real cursed loadout going like I did for uh, Enduring Confrontation. Uh but that being said, let's get into the individual weapons and how to use them. We have the A9Ls, your air-to-air -air missiles. You get two of these on the outside pylons. Always bring them in. You're always going to need them. So how these work, they're IR missiles. They lock onto the rear. They lock onto the heat from the engines. Uh, you get two of them. That being said, they are pretty fantastic for a 10.0 vehicle. I say you, you can make the argument that they're a little too overpowered. Um, the only thing is... Uh, with the A10, it's not be slower. So I always kind of like to lurk behind people. And then I feel like they ignore you because you're an A10. Swoop in behind and then get a, a pretty easy kill. The one thing I will note is be careful when you launch these, like this clip here. Um, they will lock onto friendlies. So I sm absolutely smoked this other A10. I've done it a few times. Uh, so just be careful when you're aiming into kind of crowds uh, of planes. And that's pretty much it for the A9Ls. Uh, great overall missile to have, so definitely a must bring out into every single battle. Next up, we have the AGM-65B missiles. So these are going to be your air-to-ground missiles. Um, I've had mixed results with these. They are pretty good, but the one thing I will say is they, they are TV-guided, not laser-guided like your late A-10. And if you just saw there... You'll know if you're not going to hit the target if it explodes before they get there. And in that previous no, clip, it was night, maybe. so it don't really work yeah. the best. Um, like I said, hit and miss for me. Um, but when you do play, pretty you much get a hit with these, they are pretty much, like I feel like, a guaranteed kill. Uh, they can lock on to... I use them a lot for SPAAs when you're doing convoys. Be able to pick those off at a distance. And then you'll see in this next clip here, like I said, you know, so you can see they're not really working the best in the clouds so you definitely need a clear line of sight on these um and you can use the little tv mode i haven't had much success with that i'll be honest with you next up we have the 30 millimeter cannon which is honestly just good against pretty much every ground target tanks you know aa batteries all that kind of stuff also you do have hydra missiles which i do bring out um to take out those you know those little pillboxes and AAs. I usually fire about two and that kind of does the trick as you can see right there. And that's kind of it for the A-10's, um, you know, weaponry. Pretty good ground pounder uh, if you can make it to the battlefield because it's slow as shit.